Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marisol and today we are at McKinney Falls, Austin, Texas. If you're new to my channel, I'm doing the 52 hike challenge for 2021. So I'm hiking at least once a week, as long as I can. And uh, I pretty much start in Florida. I'm just going anywhere that's not cold. So please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next adventure. So today we're going to be doing the Onion Creek and Homestead Trail, which is about 6.5 miles. And we get to see some beautiful waterfalls. Let's go. All right, so we are here and we are going to be doing the Onion Creek, which is the one in orange and then the lower falls and then going to Homestead, which is the one in purple. So I'm in the middle of the creek, as you can see, trying to cross. So I did change my shoes because I knew it was going to get wet. There's no way. All right? Walks a little slippery. through here you could have gone through there but I, I was scared it was gonna fall so after passing the falls we're just gonna go to homestead uh, section of the trail different scenery for sure mile check 1.5 miles the homestead trail it doesn't seem like anybody goes here. I've probably seen a couple of people. Everyone is pretty much stuck at the falls. If you're looking for some piece of quiet, this might be a good change in scenery. So I decided to go to Austin like on Wednesday. And um, our plan was to go to McKinney Falls Enchanted Rock and Colorado Bend, but since you need reservations for all those, I was only able to get reservations for McKinney Falls. And uh, so I pretty much woke up at 4.30 a.m., went on a plane, drove here, and voila, I'm here. <laughs> so it's been a little crazy, but I'm excited to be at another state, just hiking and just exploring something different. I finally found the Onion Creek Trail. Uh, I got lost for probably 30 minutes. There's not that much signage at the beginning. So I was trying to follow the old trails up, but I couldn't go to the red line. I just couldn't, there was no way. Um, so I don't know what I did wrong. There were other people also wandering around. They couldn't find it. So um, somehow I just kept getting close to the red lines on the maps and finally found it not the way I was supposed to but anyways I'm here it's almost three o'clock so I'm getting a little worried about time I'm just gonna do it fast then if you like going on picnics they have a lot of picnic tables here this is a spot where you can bring your family, your dog. They had a doggy area as well. Finally, it looks like I found the uh, upper falls. I was starting to get worried. As beautiful as this is, I have to get back to the car because the power bank I borrowed from my mom 
doesn't work so my battery is almost out and that's my GPS so I don't want to get stuck here uh, I think I know the way but I don't want to uh, cut it close so I'm just gonna get back to the car well, I still have some battery left on my phone so I'll see you in the car I am back in the car and charging my phone as we speak it is 4.30 I've been here since I think 11.30 so I spent a quite a bit of time here, but I did sit down and, and actually enjoy the view for once. So I'm staying in Austin for a few days. So today I was going to do McKinney Falls and I have something else planned tomorrow morning. And then I want to get back to the airport. So overall, I'm glad I did it. I love McKinney Falls. I did the lower falls and the upper falls, plus the hike which was 6.8 miles so it was a pretty long day i really enjoyed the water the falls the limestone everything and um it's so close to the airport it was probably like 20 minutes so if you're gonna come to austin you just have to just make a little quick detour and spend uh probably uh if you want to spend a day here from my location if you just go from the from the parking lot maybe about 0.3 miles, you're gonna see the lower falls right away. Uh, and then if you wanna go to upper, upper falls, you can drive there or you can actually just do a little hike and that will take you there. Uh, for me, I did the Onion Creek Trail plus the Homestead Trail, so that's why it took me a while uh, just to do all that. Overall, the trail was pretty quiet. I think everybody was just at the waterfall. Uh, so the trail was pretty empty, there were just pretty much trees, I didn't see any wildlife. Um, so just trees and just by myself with my own thoughts pretty much. <laughs> um, okay, so logistics, you have to make a reservation to go here. It is uh, $6 to make a reservation. They have two time slots, 6 to 2 and 2 to something. But if you get here in the morning, you can pretty much stay a whole day, so this is what that's what I did. Also, there are restrooms throughout the, the park here. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, I didn't see any water supply, but it's very dog friendly. There's a lot of dogs on the leash. There's, it's, all, it's also family friendly. I saw a lot of picnic tables and the grill, and I saw a family that was grilling. So that looked a lot of fun if it's something you wanna do. I think from what I heard, I think the falls was a little bit dried out, but it was still beautiful. Uh, I can see why people can the one I jump in during the summer the water was super clear and it looked like a lot of fun all right so I'm done for today uh -huh. I'm gonna do a hike tomorrow morning and then head back to the airport so if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button so you can see my next adventure I'll be doing a hike every week like I said just follow along so I can take you to all the cool places you can actually go and maybe give you some inspiration or maybe maybe some information um, so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future adventures. See ya!